Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Furlong, and today we're talking about the sensational secretions of cells. In the last video, we looked at the functions of all the individual cell organelles. All of these organelles have their jobs to do. And they're doing this in order for the cell to get its job done. And one of the most important jobs of the cell is to make proteins. These proteins are going to be used for a wide variety of things, both inside the cell, but also outside the cell. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. How do these proteins get out of the cell that were made inside the cell? Well, it's going to be a variety of things happening. First of all, the proteins are going to be made on the ribosome. From there, they enter into the rough ER, then into the smooth ER. Finally, they get to the Golgi complex, and ultimately then they are going to be shipped out of the cell through the cell membrane. So let's take a look at how that is going to happen. Here is a partial diagram of a cell. We can see the real big purple thing is the nucleus. Right outside of the nucleus is the ER, both the rough and the smooth. Down towards the bottom of our picture, we see the mitochondria and the chloroplast, and we also see a lysosome present. Those small blue squiggly things that you see are proteins that are made. Again, proteins, one of the biggest functions of any cell. So let's take a look at what happens. In the nucleus, a molecule called RNA is going to be made. It leaves through one of those nuclear pores in the nuclear envelope and travels on out to the endoplasmic reticulum or the ER. Specifically it's going to the rough ER where there are ribosomes. Now here we can see the RNA traveling along the ribosomes making proteins. Those proteins are entering into the endoplasmic reticulum and they're traveling along uh, until they reach the end of the ER. Now they have to get to the Golgi complex but there's no direct route so they bubble off just like we see here forming vesicles which then attaches to a Golgi body which is part of the Golgi complex. Now if you remember in the Golgi complex proteins are going to be processed and so they're going to change a little bit uh, to get them ready for what ultimately the, they're going to look like. So here we see this protein now is part of the in a Golgi body. Those Golgi bodies can break off and form vesicles. They can reattach to one another, but some of these will then go to the cell membrane, which fuses with the cell membrane and releases those proteins out of the cell. Because the walls of the cell membrane are made up of the same materials, the phospholipid bilayers, as the Golgi complex, as well as the ER, they can easily fuse with one another and ultimately then release those proteins. So, very fascinating as to what's happening here, uh, and take some time digest what you just saw because these things are happening all over your body. It's just fascinating stuff. And we'll see you next time.